Hey friends, today we're going to do some glass ionomer sealants, high viscosity glass ionomers. It's pretty fun. You can pick your choice of any high viscosity pure glass ionomer, not the light cured stuff. We have a couple different great brands here. Uh, they all perform really well. Uh, if you'd like to, you can condition prior to the glass ionomer sealant, but I'm going to show you my different preparation techniques. Uh, this is called a toothbrush, and we can brush the teeth. Brush the teeth, brush the teeth, brush the teeth. It's very fun, it's very difficult. If you wanna get fancy, um, you can always use your profi angle. I really like the brush and I really like to not use anything that has glycerin in it. Most profi paste has glycerin and that will inhibit our bond. That glycerin sticks around, it's hard to get rid of it uh, unless it has a detergent. So um, this is a cordless thing that I like to have. Uh, and so of course you can do whatever you like with pumice, but uh, I don't like to use profi paste personally because I worry about that glycerin. Super easy, right? Okay, so now what do we do? Mix the glass armor. So I'm going to start with this one. It's pretty fun. Uh, Forte is from uh, GC America. This is Equia. So first you have to depress the plunger, and then you got to Click once, then we are going to put it into our triturator. Triturator. Which requires some manhandling, as Dr. Rella Christensen would say. You hear that vibrating? That's the triturator or amalgamator vibrating the glass animator, and we want to work fast after we do that. So what we do is we get it into the gun, click once, click twice, click three times, and on that third time it should start to go. Now the trick, the Dr. Martin McIntyre trick, is you get a little Vaseline on your glove, and then you want to extrude the glass ionomer into one simple little pile there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to really carefully place this glass ionomer sealant on the permanent first molars of our very compliant patient. Now, we don't want to touch that after we have the patient articulate for, there we go, I know how to articulate, sir, and remove some of the excess thereafter. We don't want to touch that until there's a setting time of a minute, uh, sorry, of three minutes. There we go. All right, pretty difficult, huh? Uh, and so the magic of what happened here, are we at a minute yet? We are at a minute. Now I have to stop touching it. So there is a working time of about 45 seconds from the start of the mix and a setting time from the, uh, of about 2.45 or three minutes from the start of the mix. What you'd like to do is have a little water nearby, which I don't happen to have, so that you can really adapt your, your material. 